Hey guys, it's Megan here with Megan Ashley Creative and I thought I'd come on and do a little editing video for you guys. Um, I'm going to go through one of the images from a workshop I did um, the other weekend. So we went out um, uh, at the end of August. We had the most beautiful sunset and uh, we played around a little bit. I had some wedding clients of mine come out. Um, Brian and Veronica, as you can see in the screen, and we did a little photo shoot. So we had some trouble kind of chasing the sun where we were because there's, as you can see on the right side of the screen, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a ton of mountains. So we moved around quite a bit, but um, we did end up with some really, really pretty light. This is earlier before the sun really started to set, but I really like this image because um, they're a little bit washed out from the sun and behind them. And they're darker, and I want to kind of show you how I bring this image sort of to my style to light. So we're going to start with um, straightening it out because the horizon here is a little bit crooked. So I'm going to just quickly straighten that out. I already like that better. So the only thing I don't like about this image is that he's a little, he's kind of slouching. But because she's not nuzzled into him, I'm okay with it. I'm totally fine kind of having it look that way. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, dehaze it just to get some of that um, <clears throat> like shadowy haze off his face. So on the right hand screen over here, I go all the way to the bottom. It depends on the um, like model or like program you have of Lightroom, but Dehaze has moved quite a bit over here. So if you have an older program, it's somewhere, it's usually, it was up top with everything else, like underneath um, here. If you can't find it there, it's usually at the bottom. So we're gonna Dehaze this a little bit. It's gonna look really dark. I don't wanna do it too much. Um, but you can already see it's sort of given this a little bit more depth and color, especially like in and around here. It's kinda of sharpened that up a little bit. So, <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is sort of lighten it back up, but I'm going to be a little bit careful with my exposure level. We're going to give it just a wee little bit more life, and then the other thing I really like to, to take down is the contrast. So we're going to take that down a little bit. The contrast tends to make it really yellow, so we're going to fix the color and everything after. <clears throat> so the other thing you can do, I'm going to try a little bit of it. I'm going to set this back to zero, is um, I'm going to use this little brush over here, and we're going to brush his his face off a little bit. Um, this also has a, um, a dehaze slider right here, so I'm going to just bring the slider up just slightly. Um, actually, before I do that, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually like bring the exposure down so it's like almost black. And then I'll I'll kind of go over where I want it to go so you can see, like, oh, hey, this is this is kind of where I want it. I don't really want to go too much on her face, so obviously I'm not going to leave it like that, so I put it back to zero now. But at least I know that it, that's exactly where my brush went. So we're going to go down to dehaze, and we're going to just, just, like, not a ton, um, just pull a little bit of that off of his face. So I'm okay with it being, I mean, you never get rid of it fully. You probably can in Photoshop. You can go in and do all that. Um, it's just not really my style. I'm just trying to do some basic stuff. So if you go down to, you have a few options down here, but if you go right here, they'll do your side by side. So you can see already I'm loving this image so much more. We, we still have lots to do. So you're going to obviously just select your brush here and go back down into, I usually like to just stick in that first little category. So I think the blacks are totally fine. I'm just going to pull up the shadows just a little bit, kind of give it, see them a little bit more. I actually might pull the blacks down just a wee bit. And we're just going to pull the temperature down slightly, not that much. Too much, too much. Um, just because it was looking a little bit neon. <laughs> so the other thing I may actually do now is... They are still pretty dark, but before I try to lighten them up, I'm actually going to kind of darken the edges, so I really like to use this brush again. Um, probably at like, 
I don't know, we'll try 60. I think my dehaze is back to normal perfect. Um, I like a nice big brush, and we're going to just like brush the edges a little bit here. Um, go down super low because I just want the edges and a little bit of the top because um, I want them to really stand out so you can see like comparison wise they can stand out quite a bit more. So I'm still going to, I think I'm going to brighten them up. I think if I bring the exposure up, no, I don't like that at all. Um, oops. I'm going to have the exposure up a little bit, but we're just going to try and lighten them up. So we're going to bring this up to like, I don't know. Uh, we'll start with 30. Sure, why not? And I'm just going to brush on them. So this is going to actually like kind of haze them out a little bit. But I'm going to show you. Right? So we brought the exposure up, and then I would definitely sort of bring that haze. That's nah, too much. There you go. About 10. So this is what that looks like. So you can see like the difference. They, they look really washed out here. They have a lot more color here. Um, the other thing that I may just bring up is the vibrancy a little bit. And then I like to also, alongside the vibrancy, I like to knock, but we're not going to today. So I don't like that. So I tend to play with the vibrance and the saturation together this image because we have so much bright light here I don't want to kill like it's lit up this grass really well but I find on images that don't have a ton of sunlight in behind them the grass looks kind of neon and you can get away with pulling the saturation down a li little bit but then also upping the vibrance so it just just softens the green neonness out of grass but I actually really like it for this image so I would totally leave it so this is like a super, super basic edit. This is the, the difference between the two of them. You can see um, even side by side. Um, oops, I switched them around and not what I wanted to do. There we go. So side by side. So you can see how much brighter her skin is and how much duller it is on the original. So um, where do we go? There we go. Let's go back to this again. Oops. Before and after. And there's, what just happened? Oh, that's what I did. I reverted the settings. Don't do that. So in Lightroom, you can go up top to edit here and undo everything. So if you happen to make a mistake, you're good to go. So I would be totally happy giving this image out. The only thing I may end up fixing is, see over here, there's like this tarp off in the corner here. We can try using this tool. Sometimes it works. Let's try it. Um, sometimes it doesn't. It may end up making it look really silly. Um, it picks weird. There we go. Actually, that, that looks pretty good. So I would be totally happy. You can't. Yeah, I would be totally happy with that. So pay attention to what else is going on in your image. You may have like a person on the deck over here or like there's an excavator right here and a telephone pole I might also get rid of, but it's not as noticeable as that tarp was. And uh, there you go. So there's your before and after. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. All right. Bye.